Northern Arizona University is facing a somewhat unique challenge for a large research university, how to manage high enrollment growth, including a significant portion of first-generation students, while maintaining a campus culture that values faculty governance and initiative. Far from standing still and enjoying the growth, NAU has launched a suite of initiatives primarily aimed at the first-year experience, seeking to manage growth and improve retention without breaking the bank. In the past decade, NAU has grown its enrollment by over 40%, with most of that coming from full-time undergraduates. One goal of their initiatives is to make improvements in high enrollment first and second year courses using blended course designs based on active learning principles. We've had a very focused program for the last five years called the President's Technology Initiative, which initially was aimed at uh, courses with high DFW rates, high enrollments, introductory courses. The redesign came about for a number of reasons. Um, you know, probably the practical reason was that as, as our enrollment grew, we um, kind of ran out of class space to teach the course. You know, we did what, we, what, uh, what I call a mild blend, um, where we left three days, three meetings a week in class, and just one hour we, kind of, we moved online. Um, from a student success standpoint, um, student success is actually up a little bit. Um, since we've switched from the four-day-a-week in-person to the, the blended format. Um, so that's good. So with this um, grant that we received, it was kind of like we all had to get on board and work together and say, okay, this is what we're going to do in the classroom. So we have much more consistency now across all our sections. Okay? And you know, everybody's using clickers in the classroom, trying to do active engagement strategies in the classroom pre-lecture assignments before class, um, weekly quizzes of some sort, you know, try to engage students, you know, assess students every week in the class and not wait for just major exams. Our course redesign occurred with uh, a grant that was provided in 2011 and the grant allowed for us to really rethink how we teach information systems technology and concepts to our student population. We did a lot of looking at how students learn and technologies that could help facilitate and jumpstart some of the learning that needed to occur in the course. The current design uses a blended and flipped model for uh, the teaching and then delivery of the course components. So we moved from two or three day a week contact in person with our students to one day a week. The other quote day of the week that used to be held in a teaching lab is now left to students to work on what would have been done in a lab environment en masse uh, to doing it on their own time with their own technology. We've redesigned 35 courses in the last five years, uh, large courses, and I've been looking at those data from about 2012 on, and what we found is those that are, are now being taught in what we call a blended format, which means reducing the typical uh, Carnegie seat time, um, those courses have all improved their DFW rates. They dropped um, something like 22% down to about 19%, so that's, that's significant. NAU has gone beyond blended course redesigns and even created learning opportunities outside of the classroom. This focus is very important since NAU has more than 40% of its freshmen that are first generation students. Peak Performance is um, it's a math online summer bridge program so it's considered non-residential. Um, students don't have to live on campus to um, engage in the program and we match our students with peer math coaches. So um, they work with a, uh, a math software online and they get support from a math coach that they meet with um, using a video chat program and meet with them once a week. And then at the end of the program, hopefully they uh, retake a math placement test and. The goal is that they'll be successful and have improved their math placement and um, jump up a level in math. These students can place into everything from our Math 100, which is our remedial math course, all the way to Math 125, which is pre-calculus. We started the program a few years ago when we implemented a math placement test and we found that um, a higher percentage of students were placing into lower level classes based on that test. So we wanted to give them an opportunity to um, you know, refresh their memory a little bit and see if they could place into a higher level course. 
I think attention matters um, itself. So, so what we're talking about is uh, it's it's a, it's a module that uh, we designed specifically uh, to be delivered to first year students, and we wanted to design in a way uh, that it it's not something if they do it, um, they only have to do it once. So we wanted something that would introduce students to this concept of what is attention and why does it matter to you. It's not a course. Um, it isn't just a sort of a, a, a website that just sort of sits there and students can go there optionally if they want. It is dynamic and interactive. It's a module that's designed to take about two to three hours for mm -hmm. students to complete. Um, it's in BB Learn and they can self-enroll. I was doing it in this totally non-scalable way by sort of visiting classrooms and giving little guest lectures and I just didn't know how to get the word out. And I had just also completed a book project um, called Minds Online, Teaching Effectively with Technology, in which, among other things, I said, you know, it really would be good if we got the word out to more students about these limitations of attention. Wouldn't it be nice if there were a way to do that? Yeah. And so I had kind of gone on record myself as, as saying that. And so I was at that place where I, I had these ideas, I felt like there was a demand, but I just didn't know where to take it next. And that's where this spark happened that led to this, this module. In our next two episodes, we're going to explore two initiatives in more depth. First, we'll look at student support outside of the classroom. Second, we'll look at the modified Emporium approach for first year math courses.